you have to have credibility so that people will believe you have to tell the story you know you know that gentleman lakshman kadirga so there was a book that he wrote cake that was baked at home when he was invited to the oxford union to make a speech he went there and he said thank you so much for honoring me but me coming to oxford and doing a masters or something was the icing on the cake the cake was baked at home what is he trying to say i got my primary education in sri lanka i did a levels in sri lanka i went to law college in sri lanka or somebody goes to harvard for one week or something after that have a conversation ek kata gan you know when i was in harvard ek kata pata gan cake ke kak pad na ar ice ne gan itra kata gan right so so let's not be like that so what is it what are we trying to say here if you want your message to be sticky sticky is somebody you're talking to someone you want them to remember what you say first is it has to be simple and unexpected to capture attention it has to be a simple message people are not going to remember any many things so if they remember three things of what you said that's great so you if you have a list of 20 things i want to remember 20 things they if give up they won't even remember one three things and you keep repeating these three things if you repeat then ana ana kiyana wage then at least they will remember at the end so a small story of bill gates for you bill gates was trying to raise money from rich people to get rid of malaria in africa so he is talking to a group of very rich people so he knew the chances are these people don't know what malaria is america when america malaria na <laughs> so what he did is he came to the stage with a small box and now while he is talking he opened the box any guesses what was in the box mosquitoes now we join the audience i knew that you probably haven't got experienced uh, haven't experienced of a mosquito bite in you i wanted you to share this experience so some of you lucky people might get bit by a mosquito Of course, don't worry. It's not a malaria mosquito, but you know, people in Africa are being bitten by mosquitoes like this, and they are dying. I want you to give me money now. Do you think anyone will forget what he said <laughs> because he made it memorable, simple, and memorable? You have to give them something concrete. There is a sickness like this, malaria. People are dying. I need to raise money for this. I need you to help me. Something concrete. You have to have credibility so that people will believe you are not going to take this money and go and you know put it in your bank account. You will actually go and. help people in africa <laughs> remember we spoke about credibility what was the greek word we linked to credibility earlier ethos credible so that people believe emotional you have to tell the story you know you can show pictures of people dying and see see millions of people like this are dying one of the most most famous photographs i think ever taken was of a vulture going standing and or coming behind a small child who was dying of mal malnutrition in africa So you show a picture like that and say, "Come on, don't throw your food away. Let's give them some money to so that they don't die of because very emotional." So the message has to be emotional, and of course, stories do all these things. Stories make the message emotional. It can be credible, concrete, unexpected. So then we are actually going to remember the message. So if you think of today's session, also I have been telling you a lot of stories. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll remember some of these stories. and then go and create your own stories so that you can also you know do something like that sticky message